The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good Friday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, company live from TFNN, 8.30 a.m. Friday morning, 60 minutes to go until that opening bell. We got markets in negative territory to kick things off. S&Ps right now negative by 17 points, trading at 31.23. Looking at a NASDAQ futures, minus 41 points, 10,686. Man, that NASDAQ has sent some strength recently. The Dow, negative 171, 25,400 on the dot right now. We'll start things off with the S&Ps. We'll take a look at yesterday's action. You see quite a tough morning for the S&Ps. We trade down about 2% from 3170 down to a low of 3105. You're talking about 65 S&P points. That's actually more than 2% that we trade lower. But guess what, folks? We charge from 3105 up to 3149, 3154. So you're talking about almost 50 points. We make it up. A little bit of volatility to end the day. Overnight, we approach the lower levels we had. We make it down to a low of about 3111. We're back up to 3135. And there, some volatility as well. 3126 right now, looking at those SPs. NQs. Minus just 26 points, the market catching a little bit of a bid right now, jumping back to those S&Ps, right? These are five-minute bars. Look at that little acceleration on those S&Ps. We'll see what happens. And Qs, minus 29 points, the high yesterday, 10,774. Highs across the board. You look at Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, Netflix, NVIDIA. We'll pull up a couple of those uh, later in the program. Dow 10,696. Again, looking at yesterday's action, the high at 10,774. Uh, excuse me, this is the NASDAQ, not the Dow. NASDAQ, NQs, tech stocks. Now over to the Dow, a little bit of a different story, right? Check that out. We're right at the lower end of the range of where we were yesterday, as opposed to the NQs. We're right near uh, in the middle of the range almost. You could call it S&Ps for some context towards the lower range as well. Those NASDAQs just strength across the board. Russell right now minus 10 points near the lower end as well. Actually traded below yesterday's low overnight at 13.73. Crude down 55 cents at 39.08. Made it to 38.54 overnight. You get the gold contract up $12 at 18.16. Gold yesterday dipping below 1800 for a moment to 1799 almost made it back down to that level at about 2 a.m. eastern time currently trading higher at 1815 the price of gold silver up 15 cents at 1912 right now made it to 194 excuse me, 1944 yesterday. And notes and bonds, pretty muted action going into Friday trading. We got the 10-year up four ticks, 139.25. We got the 30-year up is that 29 ticks? Yeah, 29 ticks. 189.01. In terms of what we're sitting at a yield, how about 0.579% on that 10 year, folks? That's right, 0.579% the yield on that 10 year, it just doesn't stop. For some context here, 139.21, we were talking about it yesterday on the program. Check out this longer term chart, right? We are climbing above these levels, folks. I would say that, you know, a nice linear regression line here. Maybe you're sitting at 139.10 on the upper end. I mean, what are these highs here? The high, 139.22 from April 21st. We're a tick away from there. 139.16 on May 8th. We're five ticks above there. 139.21 on May 15th. We're exactly at that level. And that's the last time we were at this level in terms of high rates, uh, excuse me, higher prices, Lower yield, 0.578%. The high that we had when things were really getting out of hand, 140.24. You're only talking about one point above where we're trading at right now in the 10-year. For some context on the 30-year, I mean, look at this climb. Since June 5th, we've climbed from 170, more than 10 full points, folks, at 181 in that 30-year. Remarkable action. What else we have going on? PPI index just coming out. We get Friday numbers. 8.30, pulling over that number. So producer price index falling 0.2% in June. Looking for, excuse me, a 0.4% increase. That number just coming out at 8.30. We'll see how it hits the market. We saw a little bit of a pop in the S&Ps right away. 
and we're still sitting at about 31.25 in that index. As I mentioned, the NASDAQ, I mean, look at this daily chart, folks. Remarkable, right? We go from 9,700 pre-COVID, 66.28. We're currently trading at 10,698. Just from June 29th, folks, we're up about 1,000 points in the NQs. Remarkable action. And where does that come from? Let's jump around to, come to some of them. So Amazon almost hitting 3,200 yesterday. We're going to open a hair lower this morning at about 3,173. Made it to 3,195 overnight. Microsoft shares, come on, cooperate. MS. FT made it to a high at 216.40 yesterday, backing off a bit, 213.27 on Microsoft shares. Netflix shares. New highs, folks, 515. We're above 500 yesterday. We were above 500 for the first time this week. Currently trading at about 515. Uh, NVIDIA shares have just been a rocket ship to the upside. Going to open higher again yet today at 422 on NVIDIA shares. We, Apple shares. I think that 393 tick is erroneous. We were up about 385 yesterday. We're going to open a hair lower at 382. Let's check out some of the social media. Facebook, in light of all the Companies pulling their advertising, not bad when you can trade to all-time highs on Facebook just on uh, Tuesday, that is. Yes, Tuesday? Yes, the 7th. To 247, we're going to open this morning at about 243 on Facebook shares. And how about, we can't go a day without checking in on our man Elon Musk, Tesla, Reaching a high a few days ago, 1429. Talk about an acceleration. This morning, opening pretty flat at about 1396.50 for Tesla. Some of my favorites jumping around this morning. Disney, be interesting to see what happens in terms of their opening plans in Florida as COVID-19 and the numbers here. We set death total records yesterday, folks, 120. The seven-day average was 42. We'll see how that plays out. It's going to be a fluid situation. Everything is dynamic in this situation. That's the one thing I would say to keep in mind. It is very fluid. Things get worse. Hopefully, things get better. Um, you're going to see this market reacting. You're going to see some of the stocks especially hit hard react in a big way. You had Disney with some volatility on Wednesday talking about their opening plans, reached a high of 117.85 on Thursday, pulling back a bit at 115.61. Talked about Uber. Look at that volatility on Uber from 34 to under 32.50 yesterday. Tough day on Uber shares. Uh, currently sitting about 32.88. You had Walmart. Earlier this week, talking about Walmart Plus, they're going to be charging $98 for a subscription, basically going to be competing with Amazon Prime. Market loved that idea. From 118 to 129, and we're sitting pretty steadily at 128 right now. For some context on Walmart, strong, strong action. I mean, you are now flirting with uh, this gap that we had back in April. You're flirting with this volatility we had from May 19th on their earnings. We initially popped higher and the market pulled back pretty dramatically on that and the all-time high 133.38 on Walmart shares. Checking in on the VIX on Friday morning. Currently resting with the VIX of where are we at bid offer? Where are we at? There we go. 3005 right now on the VIX. Hit a high of 3148 yesterday. Volatility this market. We moved Again, we moved down from 3170 to 3105 yesterday in the S&Ps in the matter of a couple hours. You're talking about a 2% move, okay, in a heartbeat, folks. If you're getting those types of moves, the VIX better be above 30. Uh, and look at this action. Look at this. What's going on? The VIX, ah, excuse me, the S&Ps. We're getting an acceleration, folks. 3137. The NQs are negative by just one point. Friday action. Why not? Let's get some green across the board. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back in three minutes. See what else we have on top for Friday trading. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors.
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Right now, you're looking at S&Ps negative by 6, NQs make negative 11, the Dow negative by 59 as we push limits that we were seeing kind of for the highs that we had um, in the overnight session. We're above where we were at 7 a.m. We were above where we were at 4 a.m., and you're backing it up to about midnight, 3134 right now in the S&Ps. Quite an acceleration just from 810 this morning. As I said, folks, things are dynamic. They're moving faster than maybe ever before as the landscape of things really changes in terms of the economy, the potential for opening back up. So you have Disney, they're open at Disney uh, tomorrow in Orlando. And that's, you know, as you have a death toll spiking to record territory yesterday, 120 deaths in the state of Florida. Um, just since 8, 10 in the morning, I'm preparing for the program, markets in negative territory. Guess what, folks? We traded from 31.18 to above 31.42, trading at 31.36 right now in those S&Ps. In terms of what else we have happened in the market, I mean, check out this volatility. You almost can't overstate what's happening here, right? 1.2, 2.8, 2.3, almost a full percent, 1.8, 1.5, 7 tenths, and 1.4. Huge moves in either direction, almost on a daily basis going on. So you got United and their union out there reaching a tentative agreement for early retirements and voluntary furloughs. The tentative deal comes a day after United said 36,000 employees could be furloughed this fall if there aren't enough buyout and early retirement volunteers. Tough deals going on in the airline industry. We talk about it regularly. Uh, you know, I have friends who are in that industry, folks, and, and it's a, it's not a good time to be in that industry as airline travel just dries up completely. Some context here, we got very, very euphoric on those airlines up to almost $50 on June 5th. We're backing off. We're going to open today at 29 Even on that news, we're down here in this lower range. I mean, it bounced around from 20 to 30 for that low period from March 17th. I mean, realistically, all the way through June 4th, maybe it's going to navigate back down there. You still have travel off 80 to almost 90% remarkable action. So Ireland, they're going to be at the top of uh, the international. No, no. Where are they? Let's see. Yeah, the Eurozone's top job. So the Irish, I, I'll get there. The Irish finance minister, good old Ireland, representing that O'Brien blood, uh, elected to the Eurozone's top position in a defeat for Germany and France. So interesting action here, getting into this. I uh 
Pascal Donahue will be the new president of the Eurogroup, which is made up of the 19 finance ministers in the euro area in charge of negotiating aspects of the fiscal policy of the bloc. Now, especially important with what's going on right now. So the decision announced Thursday, a blow to France and Germany, who had publicly stated their support for Spanish candidate Nadia Calvino, the most indebted nations in the region. So the nations with a ton of debt, Greece, Italy, Portugal also expressed their pre preference for the Spanish minister. Pressure for the fiscal adjustment will likely resume once the recovery takes hold, creating the risk that more vulnerable southern economies could be forced into fresh tightening at a time when their economies are still reeling from the downturn. That's an analyst at the research, research firm Eurasia Group. So what it's talking about here is that uh, back in March, the Eurogroup agreed to put these rules on hold so countries would have the flexibility to spend and support their economies. I mean, you see the trillions we've pumped into the U.S. economy, right? So you have these huge indebted nations, Greece, Italy, Portugal, in the EU. They're supposed to have limitations to kind of reel that in. Those limitations relaxed. The Irish finance minister described himself as a bridge builder who will look to bring together fiscally conservative nations like the Netherlands and Australia and those that have looser approaches to public finances. That is quite a quote there, looser approaches to public finance. Yeah, that means they're spending more than they're making, folks. Uh, interesting action, though. That's an, that's an important one in terms of Germany not getting their way over there. Um, and the indebted nations as the finance minister of Ireland looks to bring those countries in, in line with what they're spending. In terms of COVID out there, we know the numbers are stark, folks. Just be safe out there. Please wear a mask, social distance. Very frustrating in Florida when people who can wear a mask, I see them out outside all the time. These numbers don't come out of, the, out of nowhere, folks. The behavior sometimes, very frustrating, all right? You can wear a mask. We can keep places open. Um, and we can really keep them open if people wear a mask and social distance. So please, you know, the stories that keep coming out about what we don't know about this, uh, airborne transmission, restaurants, gyms, other closed spaces can't be ruled out. It seems like um, being in confined close spaces uh, without the ability to social distance, this virus has the ability to spread very rapidly. Um, and we're just learning about it more and more and more. The WHO previously acknowledged that the virus may become airborne in certain environments, such as medical procedures and general aerosols, when you're actually aerosoling something, right? You're, 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 whether it's a, a, a treatment on a ventilator, uh, an aerosol treatment for somebody on a ventilator. But guess what? You don't really need that, folks. If you're in a closed, confined space, you're breathing harshly, those virus droplets spreading in the air uh, they, they might not sit in the air for hours, right? But they're spreading in the air. You don't have to be right next to somebody. So be aware of that. New York, how about this tropical storm, Faye, picking up speed and strengthening as it moves closer to the mid-Atlantic states and New England? Tropical storm, Faye, there's your track in action. Uh, as if the last thing we need right now is a tropical storm, but Faye is expected to bring two to four inches of rain, the possibility of flash flooding, flooding in parts of the mid-Atlantic and southern New England. The Hurricane Center said it's 5 a.m. advisory. Keep your eyes on that if you're in New England. Make sure you, uh, you're prepared for it. You might get a little rain, nothing too dramatic in terms of how it can be down here, but some of those areas, when you get into flooding, that's, that's a tough one no matter what. All right, jumping to Tesla. How about Tesla? They're coming out with their earnings July 22nd. If they show a profit, they will be poised to, quote unquote, electrify the S&P 500. So you got to show four quarters of profits, which is one of the hurdles to be included in the S&P 500. Uh, Tesla looking to make this quarter their fourth quarter of profitability. One of the major reasons you've seen this stock accelerate in a huge way in terms of growth and profitability. Uh, you back this up, right? July 6th, you back it up. We were flirting with around $240. Look at that. Look at that range. I mean, just got sputtering across as it looked like they might not make it. But all that changed, it seemed, in October when you had the stock from 250. And guess what? In, the, in a heartbeat, you were at 340, and this thing just takes off like a rocket ship. Tesla's at about 1401. So look for their numbers and look for the ability to come into that. I mean, it's with a market cap of about $250 billion, Tesla would be among the most valuable companies ever added, larger than 95% of the index, index's existing components. Uh, they're a big company, folks, and they. But you got to have four quarters of profitability to be included. So, nonetheless, they're looking to do that. Uh, 
later this month. Remarkable. We're going to be right into earnings action pretty soon, which is crazy in itself. In terms of uh, some tariffs, some trade concerns, some, some action with China, the U.S. sanctioned China officials over human rights abuses in Xinjiang. I believe that's how you pronounce it, maybe. And so this article dated last night at almost midnight. The next article, China vows to retaliate against U.S. sanctions over Xinjiang. The back and forth definitely fight back. China will, they said. Chinese said it will retaliate after U.S. officials and institutions following Washington's imposition of sanctions on three local officials of the ruling Communist Party over human rights abuses in the northwest region of Xinjiang. There's a lot of stories going on out there, folks, but guess what? The market shaking it off. We get the S&Ps right now, negative by just four, NQs negative by seven. Stay tuned, folks, we'll be right back. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We got S&Ps negative by 6, NQs negative by 11, just kind of hanging out at this level. That's a 15-minute bar, putting it on the minute bar. You can really see that acceleration that took place at about 8.37 in the span of four minutes, folks. We traded from 31.26 up to 31.43. You're talking about a half a percent in the index in four minutes. Kind of hanging out at this levels, putting it back on a five-minute. Other action going on out there. Stark numbers, folks, 63,200 new coronavirus cases in a single day. And when you compare this to stories like this, folks, that Hong Kong 
is suspending all schools due to a spike, okay? That spike, talking about 34 cases, folks. 42, excuse me. City reported 42 new cases Thursday, of which 34 are locally transmitted. Hong Kong's Education Bureau on Friday announced the suspension of all schools on Monday. Quite a stark difference to the conversation that's going on in this country right now about schools. Uh, we can function, folks, but we just can't let this thing spread like wildfire to the tune of 100, 200,000 cases a day. Um, scary stuff going on, especially in one of these states like Florida. And it's not just going to stay in states like Florida, folks, if we're spreading at this type of a level to 63,000 cases on a daily basis. Okay, how this changes the world completely? How about Barbados seizing the opportunity? They're going to plan to let people stay and work remotely for a year. I can enjoy that view for a year, working remotely. Maybe we'll get a TFNN uh, condo suite over the, the lush to get a nice little backdrop of that beautiful ocean. So lawmakers are looking at introducing a 12-month Barbados welcome stamp noting that restrictions due to the coronavirus pandemic had made short-term travel more difficult. You don't need to work in Europe or the US or Latin America if you can come here and work for a couple months at a time, go back and come back. So they're trying to get people who are working remotely, they're gonna try and bring them into uh, Barbados. Barbados, 98 confirmed cases, period. Seven deaths from the virus, end of the story. Remarkable numbers when you compare it to what's going on in the US. All right, folks, should be an interesting Friday in the markets. Look at this volatility. We got the S&Ps negative by six, NQs negative by 10, Dow negative by 60. Stay tuned. We got our man Larry Pesimento coming up live next with Trade What You See. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> 